Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know what Slack looks like, um, it's basically like um, Zoom chat, in effect. Um, it's got lots of features, but in effect, you can create channels, um, and in case some of them we might want to use for um, sending notifications to, some of them we might not. So I've got one which is pictures of cows, which we're not going to use at all. Um, you see, I've set up a Burt Suite Enterprise app, and that's how we're basically going to hook into, um, into Slack. We're going to send notifications as that app. So if I, let's see this. Why has it changed? <laughs> Just keep swiping. Exactly. Keep swapping over. Right. So <clears throat> let me go to, so this is a, an authentication token, um, which should allow us to connect to Slack. This is real Slack, so it's probably going to go wrong. Fingers crossed. Right, so you can now see the channels that I've enabled uh, or selected within Slack are visible. So I'm able to enable all channels to, um, to send notifications from scans. I can also deselect a couple that I'm not really interested in sending. I can then save that config. Now, when I go to a site, so this is the sites tree, and in particular, if I go to this first order site, I can see in the details of that site towards the bottom. So there's currently no Slack notifications set up. If I edit that site, I'm then able to see the channels that I previously selected. So I can add a couple of different channels in there. And then I can save that. Right, and now I can go and start a scan. And fingers crossed, when we start the scan, we should get a notification to tell us it's starting. It's just waiting for an agent, so it might be a minute. Ta -da. Not that page. So you see now we've got a notification saying the scan has started, and it's told us where it started. And now we've got to wait approximately 22 seconds for the uh, scan to finish. Have we got any mood music? No? Dance? You good? <laughs> no? Should have done a quicker scan. Oh, well. Um, Come on. Ta -da. Right, so now you see the scan's completed. It's got time. And we can also drill down and see what issues we've found. So we've found a certain number of issues, uh, statistics on how many requests have made, et cetera. Um, and you can also click straight through to view the scan results. Um, that link doesn't work in this demo just because it's separate workspace. So, uh, and that's it. And then to actually remove the integration you're also able to go back to the Slack page and then you just remove Slack like that. And then we're back to where we were.